PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Pete's Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. She's a bit cold here today. We're getting on to winter this side of the world. Um, it was only about one degree this morning. I think she might go down to minus one or minus two overnight. So I had to put my winter woolies on, guys. <laughs> hey, anyway, as you might have seen from my previous videos, I got given this old prehistoric welder here. And I thought I was just going to throw it out because it looked like a piece of junk. But I actually used it a couple of times and I'm quite impressed with it really for a little 140 amp welder. It does a lot better than my um, old R converter welder, you know. So I thought I might keep it and we'll do a bit of restoration on it maybe and I can just keep it as a second machine in my workshop. But what I don't like about it is these leads are knackered. It's got a broken stick holder here and it also has a buggered earth clamp here. It's been burnt through and it's really, really light. So what I thought I might do is change these out for something decent and also change the way it connects into here because I want to use the DIN switches so I can use my original earth leads and that sort of thing. Anyway guys, same as usual, like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at Pete's Tools if you want, and let's get into it, eh? Yeah! Like I said guys, I just don't like the way these things hook in here because you can't disconnect them or connect them. See my uh, old stinger here has a plug like this on it, has a DIN's plug like this, which I want to be able to just go like that and use it on this machine. Also the earth clamp has to have a quick twist lock on the bloody thing. Because there's nothing worse when you can't interchange your earth clamps and leads from machine to machine. Because all my plasma cutting gear and my welding gear like this all has these connectors on it that you can just go like that and it makes life a hell of a lot easier. And you can swap and change and change them in one out for the other and all sorts of things. And I muck around with this stuff a lot so I don't like anything sort of hardwired. Anyway guys, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to change the plugs on that old crappy machine. I also noticed guys how thin the wire is on this. This is supposed to be a 140 amp machine. But look how bloody thin that is. I mean this stinger here is rated at 150 amp. This wire here. And if you compare this wire here to that wire, there's absolutely no comparison. So I want to use my original gear. So first thing we'll do guys is let's strip out this baby. Yeah! Like I say, if you watch it in the other videos, I got given this. The guy, I think the guy was going to throw it on one of my dumpsters. But um, I was having a play with it, and it's quite good actually. I'm quite impressed with it. It really competes with my other modern version of this. So it might be worthwhile tarting it up a little bit and uh, keeping it as a spare little machine in my workshop, because you never know. Take him off there. I did another video on the uh, on the guts of this thing. As you can see, there's not much inside it, guys. Nothing to break down, really. <laughs> it either goes or it doesn't. Right. So what do we got? What do we got? We have. Get off the cord, Pete. I'm standing on the cord, and I wonder why I can't turn the bloody thing around. What we have here? Make sure it's unplugged. Yep. Got a lot of cobwebs, as you can see. And we've just got some sort of connector here which looks half quite decent. I think the wire coming into it from the transformer is actually thicker than the wire going out to the air fleet. I don't know why that would be. So if we undo this sucker here, guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's got a big Allen bolt on it. So we pull them out. I think it's plastic as well, which is probably not a good look. Is that plastic? Yeah, I think it is plastic. And look at that, it goes straight through, guys. It's not even cut. It's just that plastic clamp just holds it on there. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? So, instead of doing that, Pete, why don't we just do it the other way? So I'll just cut that off here, give myself plenty of wiggle room so I've got room to play with it. Pull that through there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Get rid of that crap. Man, I won't be sorry to see the end of this stinger. Look at this stinger, guys. She's pretty ratchet. <laughs> Right, we turn the suck around, do the same thing on the other end. Down here, there's another plastic thing here, so we undo that. Plastic, fantastic. Eh? I didn't think they had much plastic in these days. The rest of it's pretty damn solid. Poke them through like so. Whack them off. Give yourself plenty of room, plenty of working room. Finally, I can get rid of this ugly piece of looking yuck. I'll leave him in there and we'll work on the other one first, eh? 
So what I have here, guys, is just a couple of 10, 25 din sockets, which are exactly the same. These are just the female end of it, and this is the male end of it that goes onto my stinger, like so. And there he is. We'll just stick him in there like so. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> so if I just take that old plastic thing out. See, that's just a cheap plastic thing that holds that wire in there with a little grub screw. Now with these things here, guys, what you need to watch out for is when you pull it to bits, it's got a, like a backing plate on it. If you have a look. See this sort of backing plate here? It's got a bit of a cut out there. What that does is insulate it from the body of the machine. So we don't want to be going and uh, electrocuting ourselves because that probably wouldn't be a good look. Also, see this, guys? It's got a tit on here. I don't know if you can see that old tit on there. If I turn this old machine over, see the old machine here, guys? It's got a bit of a tit cut out here, which matches the tit cut out on our modern plug. So if we put them in like that, tit for tit, tit for tit, tat for tat, <laughs> turn them around so we can all see what we're doing. So there's the back end of our machine. So what we need to do is get this other piece of plastic like I showed you before. Make sure you put the tit on the tit. Put a little um, washer thing on. And here's a little knock lock, uh, knocking nut. <laughs> I'm thinking too much of the tit thing. Knocking and tits and all sorts of things. <laughs> a locking nut. So we'll just tighten them up a little bit with a spanola. Yeah. Yep, nice and tight. So we take some of the covering off this wire here, guys. And I'll give it quite a bit so I can wrap some wire around it. There we go. Right, now the theory is, screw that in there. So if we screw our bolt in here and then wrap that wire around it, and I think I'm going to put a bigger washer on that so it's got more of a grip to hold on to it. Put a bigger washer on that, guys, just so we've got more grip. And feed them in like so. I don't know if you guys can actually see, but I hope you can. See what I've got in there, guys? Uh, the bolt is winding up this way, we're going that way with the bolt. So what I've done is I've put the wire the same way so we don't undo the wire when we try and do the bolt up. Then what I suggest you do is grab the end of it with a pair of pliers. If you can grab the end of it, make sure you cut it long enough and pull it quite tight. So you get something that looks like that. See there I've wrapped it all the way around. So now if I just do it up a little bit. The theory is, it should clamp it on there. Alright, so now we stew them up. One more for good luck. One little twist, and there we go. Make sure that you haven't got any wire touching the case, because you don't want wire touching the case. Because you So here we have the same drama, we we'll just pull them out like so, undo them. Got the same thing, it's got a tit on it here. Pull our other dins plug to pieces. Take the backing plate off. Put the tit in the tit. <laughs> Same drama once again. Quite simple to do, but it makes your machine look a lot moderner for a start. And it gives you a hell of a lot better contact. Because if you don't have good contact, you don't have a good weld. Perfect, I'm in Once again, guys, what I'll do is I want to take quite a bit off this. Yeah, I'm like so. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. So I got a bigger washer than this one here, guys, so that it'll help hold the wire on. 
just to get the thread started on the bolt just a little bit so it holds it pull all your stuff pull the washer on that back and then try and feed this round so we're going that way so we need to go the same direction with the wire so we don't pull it off when we tighten it up because I have put it on the wrong way and I have pulled it off when I'm going to tighten it up once again make sure the wire is not touching the earth so it's not touching any part of the case that's why we put that insulator on remember that insulator thing with the tit on it nice and tight just as simple as that guys just wrap around there like I said and just make sure it's tight and make sure this wire isn't touching the earth all that remains now guys is put the sucker back together look how flash we're looking now <laughs> All right, we'll put them back together, and then we'll see if we can weld with the sucker, eh? I think it might need a little bit of a paint job, what do you reckon? But the paint doesn't make any difference of how it welds, though, eh? That's my theory. Oh, it's heavy, guys. There we go. Beautiful looking. Right, will it actually go? Well, let's kick it in the guts and find out. So I've got my stinger lead here, guys. This one here. Lock them up. <laughs> I've got my earth lead. This one here, guys, with the earth clamp. This is the earth clamp I use for all my welding and my plasma cutting. And it's got the um, plug on the end. If you notice, this plug here is a bit different. What I do is I put that on there so I can attach another lead to my earth because sometimes I do a couple of things at once. I've got some other videos on that if you want to see that. So we'll stick them in there, tighten them up. Beautiful. Wonderful it'll go. Let's see if it'll weld. Hee <laughs> hee. Right, so we're kicking in the guts. Hear the beautiful hum, the hum of the transformer. Grab my earth. Put my earth on the table like so. Let's stick some electrode in there. There you go guys, a lot better now. We haven't got all that crappy connections and it actually welds. Good job, hee -haw. So guys, that was a job well worth doing, I think so anyway. So we've got our nice new plug connectors in here. It works good, gives us a really good earth. Um, what more do you want? Got rid of the old crappy stuff like this. And this thing here that needs to go in the bin. And I should get a few more years out of the old world yet. Anyway guys, enough bullshit from me for this week. Like my channel, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say it down in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time, mate. Oh, and by the way, if you want to buy some of these little plugs and sockets, I'll put some links in the description below. See ya. Peach Tools.com. Oh, oh, oh.